Brothers and sisters, I'm going to make this quick. And it's obvious the enemy doesn't want this out because this is my third attempt. Okay. First up, I had a vision of Obama today. It was his face, and then it looked like a scaly goat creature-like thing. Then I had a dream that I saw a red and black planet in the sky, big enough to make the sky black. It blocked, completely blocked out the sun. I also had a, dr a dream, a vision today, that I saw a portal in the earth, and on the other side looked like lava, and I heard screaming, and it smelled. You could just, the vision was so powerful, because I could just smell. I, I smelled like this flesh. Okay? I believe it's the portals of hell. They're, they open a crack where demon entities can go through, not in large numbers, but in little numbers. And I believe that that crack is going to widen as the, the days progress. Um, I believe I heard a voice saying that hell is real, the veils are thinning. And I'm not stating this as fact, this is my belief, my observation that it was from the Lord. Okay? I also wanted to tell you guys that I had a dream when before I submitted myself to Christ. I was a lukewarm Christian like a lot of you are. And I just wanted to tell you that in this dream I was on a train, black, dingy looking train, and there were a lot of people on it. I believe they were bound to hell. On the le and, it, and it was underground. This train was like in a deep tunnel. On the right side of me, I saw countless chambers, and each chamber represented a different torment for a different sin. And I, I was shown a woman that was bound, and she was um, looked thirsty. And I think that this thirst represents greed. Right, Junior? Yes. Huh? Yes. She was given a glass of water because she looked parched. And then it was taken away from her, and she was destined to live that fate forever. Okay? It was, you could smell sulfur, you could feel the heat. I was allowed to feel these sensations for a reason. You could smell rotting flesh. And then I believe, because I'm, say, I'm not saying this is fact, it's my observation, that a woman, a blonde woman was in a dream, and she beckoned me to come over. She said if I didn't want to end up in this place, if I didn't want to end up where they were going, that I better get right with God. And I took that as a warning, and that's a warning I'm passing on to lukewarm Christians and backsliders and those that are not saved. Okay? I just wanted to please let you know that. Um, I also wanted to let you guys know that I believe the Lord spoke to my spirit, I'm not stating it's a fact, it's my observation, and said this, there's not much more, there's not much time left, we are in the final hour. The man of the final hour the one that defiles my temple, that seeks to divide my land, will reveal himself. Know this, I control all. And at the time of the revealing of the son of perdition, there will be suffering unlike man has ever seen before. For rebelling against the Lord thy God, and for turning to idols, sexual immorality, coveting, envying, fornication, effeminate. And just to interject to you guys, effeminate is homosexuality. Okay? So if a homosexual tells you that God accepts it, he doesn't. It's in Scripture. He does not accept that. That's abomination to the Lord, as all these sins are. We're all sinners. That's why we must repent constantly and, and do everything we can to stay away from that sin. See, it mentions also here adultery, adulterous marital unions, not ordained by me, thievery, false witness. There are more sins I loathe as written in my word. Guys, I've seen stuff in there like reviling, slander, um, jealousy, that's mentioned lust. Um, hate, um, caring for the cares of this world, the list goes on, any of these situations, flee it, he's looking for a bride with a pure heart without sin, I'm telling you guys right now, please, I implore you, and then the rest of it says, I loathe as written in my word, behold, I come with a rod and to shake the, and to shake the earth like a drunken man. The stars will mourn as the sun and moon grieve with darkness. The inhabitants of the earth will know I am the Lord your God. My warnings of my servants are not heeded. These are servants I sent, not those that give words of their own lying deceitful hearts. Please test and try the spirit. Seek my guidance and seek with spiritual eyes to see and ears to hear. If the words are from the Lord your God, not to discern risk your personal damnation. For you may be blaspheming the Holy Spirit, the veils between the living and supernatural are thinning. 
The enemy seeks my consent to torment you. I will test your faith. Be on guard. Stand firm. Hold fast where I am coming. But the son of perdition knows this and plots your demise. Love one another as thyself and be diligent in seeking me as I stretch forth my hand for those that plot to divide my land. Guys, I'm saying I believe this is from the Lord. I'm not stating it as fact. It's my observation in case I'm in error. Please, if you're not sure how to get saved, just for the ones that are not saved, message me. I'll help you any way I can. Lukewarm Christians, backsliders, if you need help, please, just submitting yourself to the Lord for repenting. Please message me and I'll do everything I can to help you. Pray requests for healing, anything, deliverance, any any difficulties you're going through. Please, I'd be happy to pray for you. Please, guys, I love you so much and I don't want to see you condemned. We are in the last days. Please reach out to me if you need help of any kind. Please. God bless you.